Hi, welcome to Radio 1 Movies with me, Rihanna. Out this week, there's Pan with an interview from Hugh Jackman. Also, Crimson Peak, The Programme and Hotel Transylvania 2. We're going to start with Pan. This is a retelling of Peter's story before he became Peter Pan, when Hook was an ally and Blackbeard was the foe. Without me, you're stuck in this cell. Without me, you're stuck in these mines. Okay, then we'll talk about it. Just move away from that wall before you get yourself blown up, all right? So what's it going to be? Kid. Tick. Talk. Okay, we have a deal. Just... <laughs> The scope of the film is enormous. There are flying pirate ships, there are these wonderful tribal ceremonies, a lot to look at, and Hugh Jackman is very over the top and a lot of fun. Levi Miller, who plays Peter Pan, reportedly cried when he got the role, so I asked Hugh Jackman if he'd ever cried when he found out he got a role. I don't know if I cried. I was really excited when I got Les Mis. Oh, yeah. Um, Because that was something I really wanted. Mm -hmm. That was one I said, I really want this. I'm going for it, I'm going to audition for it. So I was really, really, I did... I definitely did a fist pump. <laughs> Is that uh, all a fist bump? Yeah, I did a fist bump or two, um, and then I was like, "Now I got to do it." Um, but no, I haven't cried in a while getting a role. Slide down. They'll be coming for us. Sadly, this is all undercut by some incredibly hammy acting. Garrett Headland, I'm looking at you. It's Hook. The name's James Hook. Happy? No! A really over-explained plot and a ridiculously dull and self-indulgent final act involving a ship chase, which is as long as it sounds. Maybe it was filmed in real time. So, two stars for Pan. Next up, it's the programme. This is a biopic of cyclist and drug cheat Lance Armstrong. What we all have to do is fall back in love with cycling. I have never tested positive for performance enhancing drugs. Ben Foster gives an outstanding performance as Lance Armstrong and it feels like a very well executed film covering the awfulness as well as the hints of humanity. But the question that begs to be answered is why make it in the first place? We had quite a recent documentary, The Armstrong Lie, and it gives us pretty much the same information. What I was really interested in is what happened post that infamous Oprah interview, and this film stops there as well, so it feels like a bit of a missed opportunity. Three stars for the programme. Next up is Crimson Peak. This is a gothic thriller from director Guillermo del Toro about a young, rich American who falls for the charms of an English baronet, only to find that his home, Crimson Peak, is filled with ghosts who tell tales of a mysterious past. What do you think? Does it look the part? It does. Although it's even colder inside than out. I know, it's a disgrace. We try to maintain the house as best we can, but with the cold and the rain, it's impossible to stop the damp and erosion. And the mines right below, well, the wood is rotting and the house is sinking. This is a film which looks completely beautiful and opulent. The cinematography is perfect. I was disappointed with the thriller aspects though. It's like the film thought it was much more complicated and unpredictable than it actually was. The big reveals were underwhelming, but the tone of the performances from Mia Vashikovska, Jessica Chastain and Tom Hiddleston were just as I hoped they would be. So three stars for Crimson Peak. Finally, it's Hotel Transylvania 2. This is the sequel to the animated Hotel Transylvania about a young vampire who falls in love with a human and has a baby. But the big question is, will baby Dennis be human or vampire? Which is a question that Grandpa Dracula has become obsessed with. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I want Mommy, you I'm too old are. for lullabies. What? That's not how that one goes. This is the way most people sing it. Most people? What's wrong with suffer, suffer, scream in pain? Blood is spilling from your brain. Daddy. Come on, you know how I sang it to you. Hotel Transylvania was a lot of fun. It felt original and perfect for all ages. This latest offering is a real disappointment because the fantastic comedic actors like Adam Sandler, Andy Samberg, Molly Shannon, even Selena Gomez feel completely wasted with a very standard script and even the visual gags seem recycled. So two stars for Hotel Transylvania. Next week, I'll be reviewing Brand, A Second Coming, Mississippi Grind, and The Last Witch Hunter. Now, if you want to see Hugh Jackman rating his beards from Hollywood history, then click here. It's a very funny video. I did it. I'll see you next week.